EV manufacturers, watch out. There's a new powerhouse on the scene. Canadian electric car parts manufacturer Magna has just revealed their latest game changer, a high RPM electric motor that offers a lightweight design, double the power, and significantly improved efficiency compared to most existing motors. Enjoying the content? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest updates. Join us for more insights and exciting news. Be part of the community today. Let's talk about Magna. This company might not be a household name, but it's a major player in the vehicle parts industry. Consistently ranked among Canada's largest companies, Magna supplies parts and facilities to many of the world's leading automotive brands, including Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Ford. With the advent of the EV revolution, Magna made a strategic shift, investing heavily in critical components for electric vehicles. This bold move has paid off, positioning Magna as a leader in automotive electrical components. Renowned manufacturers like BMW, Ford, and Volkswagen rely on Magna for key parts, with Mercedes even using entire powertrains developed by Magna. One of Magna's greatest achievements is their well-known powertrain, the Magna E-Drive. Developed in the 2010s, the Magna E-Drive has been a game-changer in the EV world. This radical new powertrain offered a massive step forward in potency, efficiency, and ease of manufacturing. Companies like Stellantis, Tata, and Mercedes choose Magna to produce their EVs because the E-Drive is one of the easiest systems to install, whether in an EV or a hybrid. For instance, the Jaguar I-Pace uses two complete E-Drive systems along with power electronics and integrated drive units. This entire platform is built from the ground up using Magna's parts. The new Fisker Ocean also uses a powertrain made entirely by Magna. The Volkswagen ID.4, developed by Volkswagen, partially uses the E-Drive system, demonstrating its easy integration even with vehicles not specifically designed for it. The BMW iX3 uses the E-Drive system, showing that the powertrain can be adapted without any restraints. Beyond this, companies like Stellantis, Rivian, Hyundai, and various startups rely on Magna and their E-Drive system. Earlier this year, Magna's prowess was further solidified with the introduction of their new electric motor. Magna's previous electric motor was already highly regarded, boasting 400 volts, a remarkable 91% efficiency, a 2 kilowatts per kilogram ratio, and a 16,000 RPM limit. While solid, it was ultimately unimpressive. For example, the Jaguar I-Pace, equipped with two E-Drive units and a total of 400 horsepower, didn't stand out as the best or worst EV, but remained in the middle of the pack. It had a relatively mediocre range of only 280 miles due to its subpar battery. Now, Magna's new high RPM electric motor promises to shake things up, offering a lightweight package, double the power, and significantly better efficiency. This new motor positions Magna as a formidable player in the EV market, making them a company to watch closely. Electric vehicles are already incredibly powerful, and adding more power might seem unnecessary. However, the real benefit of this new motor lies in its ability to extend range. The increased efficiency of the motor will provide about 3 to 5% more range, which may not sound like much, but it is a definite improvement. Additionally, since the motor is noticeably lighter, the vehicle won't have to work as hard, improving the power-to-weight ratio and marginally increasing the range again. The fact that it heats up less frequently also means the cooling systems will work less, extending the range even further. Altogether, these improvements could result in around 10% more miles on a full charge. Considering we're just talking about a motor change and not the entire powertrain, this is a significant upgrade. Additionally, battery packs are more expensive because they require more robust insulation, wiring, and new safety measures. Batteries often become larger to extend the range of these vehicles, which increases the price even more. As a result, an 800-volt E-Drive will likely be reserved for higher-end models. This might seem disappointing, 
but it's a common practice among EV makers. There's also the issue of recharging. An 800-volt system can recharge faster, but only if the charger supports it. Since 90% of EV models and an even higher percentage of EVs on the road use the 400-volt architecture, most chargers are tailored to them. Thus, the benefits of the 800-volt system might not be noticeable most of the time. Production could also pose a challenge. Magna, despite being a large company, will need to convert some of their assemblies from the 400-volt E-Drive to the 800-volt version, which could lower profits somewhat as the latter will be produced on a smaller scale. However, these issues are common for developing technologies. Remember the early 2000s? Charging an EV was difficult, but now there are chargers everywhere. This isn't entirely new technology. It's an evolution of existing technology. So building new infrastructure isn't necessary. Just modernizing it is. As production scales up and the use of materials like silicon carbide and gallium nitride increases, the complexity of making these systems will decrease. With more vehicles using 800-volt systems, this technology will become more widespread and mass-produced. Consequently, prices will continuously drop, making such powertrains standard in most EVs, with the 400-volt systems reserved for the most affordable models. What to think about this? Let us know in the comments section.